Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, hello once again, good evening YouTube, and welcome back to the Kamikaze Games channel. Last time we started off the season of 2004, and it's been three good winners so far. Bobby Labonte got the Daytona 500, Mark won in Atlanta, and Casey Mears won at Texas. And as a result, look at these absolutely phenomenal standings. 26 point lead. Are you kidding me, bruh? Are you kidding me, bruh? That is amazing. Even after Mark's championship with his zero wins in the entirety of this playthrough until Atlanta. Yeah. This game is... This, the, 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 the stats are pretty jank, it must be said. But I got my fourth career win last time at Texas. We got... Uh, Three top tens to start the season, average finish of 3.7. Really, that's just the best that it can get. But the problem is, is that we're headed to Charlotte, the worst track in this game. I have literally never finished a race here because this track sucks so much and the game is so stupid that I literally have rage quit every single time that we have done this game every single time we've come to this track in this game and so we need to figure out a setup and i'm basically gonna, gonna carbon copy the uh, setup from last time so i had a pretty i had a small i had a flat spoiler but yeah kind of like that but like i had the suspension turn up pretty much to m almost max and we've even got a half round of wedge in the car <laughs> oh no all right that's pretty much the setup Let's qualify and hope for a pole. Hoping for the pole. That's all it's gonna take, dude. All it's gonna take to get this. Well, I mean, I got the pole in the previous race and we died. And I had to, like, well, I didn't have to restart, but, like, I had to scratch and claw from the back. But Texas is well programmed and actually you could feasibly crawl your way from the back and get a good finish. But Charlotte is different in that it is programmed so terribly, so awful is the programming at this track, that we are basically, like, I just have to hope that I can get the pole, drive off, and never come into contact with another car for the entire event. That's basically the only hope that I have of doing good in this race. So, coming to the line, what kind of lap is this going to be? It's a pole. How about that? That's how you that's how you do it, man. That's how it's done. I don't know how much I won the pole by, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Cause anyone being next to me in this race, period, is going to be a problem. So here we go. The longest race in NASCAR. And the shittiest track in NASCAR Thunder 2002. Let's go. We just have to survive and get a top 10. Okay, I've lost two spots to start the race. Okay, we've survived turn one. That's unexpected. Nope, never mind. Never so much for surviving. We're now going 10, 20 miles an hour slower than I should be going. Let's see if we can survive this turn here. Okay, all right, we're driving off from them, so that's a good sign. Okay. So this may be the longest race in NASCAR, and we may have the shittiest tire wear possible. But you see, the good news is, is that tire wear really doesn't matter. Because... It's pretty much the same no matter what, mostly due to the fact that we are on the shortest race length possible. Had we been, like, on, like, a regular, like, normal thing, we'd probably be in a lot worse shape as far as tires are concerned. They would probably actually, tire wear would actually matter. However, fortunately for us, that is not the case in this mode. Oh, great. That's just wonderful. All right, so things were going well for a minute there. Now they're not anymore. Yeah, um, I was doing fine until the car decided it was done turning for the day, and now we're fourth. And there's people directly up my ass right before the first turn at Charlotte, so that's not great. Yeah, he, he tried. Jimmy Spencer tried his damnedest to get up there. 
and ruin my dick. I think that's Spencer. Okay, the car just refuses to carry speed anymore, so I've lost another spot. Which is great. Really is just wonderful because we have we are we are still several laps away from pitting, so the fact that we're not carrying any speed through these corners and are just going to continue to get eaten alive, that's really awesome. Oh look, it's the guy second in points, right up my ass. How cool is this? Once again, tire wear critical on the lap before halfway, so no possible strategy plays there. So that's wonderful. See, we have to get out of the gas in order to get the car to turn, and then these guys just drive you down and try to ruin your dick hole. And there goes Gordon down pit road, so so much for any chance of me even finishing anywhere near him. Now we're just losing spots by the number. They're just driving the fuck around me. We're going 147 in the corner. Like, this is just, this is misery. This is misery. There's literally nothing I can do about this. The car just sucks forever and you can't do anything. Ooh, I need to pit this time, and there's a guy trying to get to my inside. How wonderful is that? That's never happened in these games before. Thankfully, these guys give up on pit road entry. There's literally nothing I can do about any of this. I mean, I can maybe take out a half round of wedge, but that's not gonna help me at all. Yeah, I mean, I did say we just need to survive this race. If we could finish 20th and not 43rd, I'd consider that a victory. Really wish that I could have gotten a free fast repair before the pit stop, and of course these guys have decided to have a 10 plus second transition after doing a fucking under 9 second transition last time. Yep, look at that. Oh, it's just people. Is that people just driving around me? Oh, how unusual. That was my fastest lap of the race, and I spent the entirety of turn three drifting. How is that even possible? Yeah, it just hits a point in the run where the car just stops carrying speed in turn one. And it has difficulty doing the same in this turn. I mean, it's much better in this turn. This turn is actually like halfway confidently programmed, but this first turn is a joke. Like, it's, it's difficult to understate how stupid it is driving into this corner, because it just throws you up the track like that. Is that Earnhardt in front of me? I hope that's Earnhardt in front of me. We're not going to lose too many points to him. I mean, ninth place isn't great, but like, considering my finishes here have been 43rd, 43rd, and like, 41st so far, I'd say ninth place is 100% acceptable at this horrendous track. That was Bill Elliott, not Earnhardt. I think Earnhardt just took the points lead. Whatever, it's fine. We'll be fine. $138,000 for that, that's alright. That's a fair amount of money if you ask me. Yeah, I guess the question is how... How many points did I lose there? I think that's about the best that race could have gone, because I died multiple times. And to come home with a ninth place finish... Hell yeah, dude. We we didn't even lose points. We actually, well, we did lose points, but, like, Earnhardt's the one that we lost it to, so. And he doesn't even have a championship yet in this playthrough, so that's a good sign. That's a good sign right there. We have, we have hope. We have hope! There is hope! I can't believe it, but, like, we just completed this race. I mean... Completing Charlotte, that was the biggest, that was the biggest, like, problem track that we had. Like, the next biggest is Michigan. After that, after that, it's smooth sailing. And then there's a bunch of tracks right in the, right in the line that are really good for us, so. I don't, is this Michigan? <laughs> this is probably Michigan, <laughs> knowing how it goes. Yes, it is Michigan. I don't even think I've touched this setup yet. Okay, well, as always, just dump that. Dump the tire pressure, that doesn't matter. Top speed is going to be important here. Yeah. Let's go with with this for now. We'll, we'll, we'll try this on for size, see if I can't grab a pole quick. Alright, I think going, in, going all in on setups is what saved this playthrough. Car feels very good, so... 
I'm assuming this race will be a joke. Let's get this show on the road. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. All right. Good news is that this is only 10 laps. Bad news is this is only 10 laps. So if I screw up, we're in. We're going to be in bad shape for a while. Oh my goodness, Ward Burton just had some speed there. He went up and took him. All right. All right. The car drives. As it turns out, the car drives. Yeah. We just got to close in on Jimmy Spencer is all. Oh, it's still going fast. It's just the car carries so much speed into the corner because of the draft. That it didn't slow down at all. It just didn't slow down. I get out of the gas and it basically accelerated. All right. Here, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We lead in Michigan. Yeah, as it turns out, all we needed to do to have success was to just, you know, make a setup. That's all it took, as it turns out. That was the, the easiest solution. Yeah, this is why I hadn't really been adjusting the setup too much before this, before this session. I just really wanted to stack the deck in my favor because the game didn't... I would probably still be doing, like, a pre... I'd probably be adjusting the setups in some way. But, like, I'm going all in on perfect setups. Because the game didn't spin up yesterday, and if this is the last chance that I get to play this game, I'm going to win this win this championship. Anyway, we just lost the lead. Ooh, look at the turn! Yeah! Tire wear critical, like it matters. You say this as if I care about the tire wear. Oh my, Ward just hit the wall for no reason. Burton just hit the wall. He never had it all. One cat skid steer loader a day. Um, I don't know what else to say. Oh, we have to repair the car. Well, I mean, we really don't have to repair the car because if I destroy the car enough, the game lets me repair it for free. So really repairing the car on pit road is literally pointless because it doesn't appear to affect the performance of the car when you have damage. See, this is why I haven't upgraded durability. <laughs> All right, good stop so far. Under nine second transition. Here's the tires of 15.1, 15.1. Okay, we're looking good. Except we're about to go a lap down because someone stayed out. Oh, Earnhardt is going long on fuel. This would be concerning. He's going long on this run, which would be concerning if cautions existed in this universe. Which they don't. Thankfully. Thankfully they don't exist. It sure would be unfortunate if they did. See, that's going to give him better tires on the long run, but if, if everything makes sense, if, if this world made sense... It would mean he'd be in a terrible spot coming off of the pit lane, but, you know, I don't exactly have very much faith in the uh, fairness of the pit road antics in this game. I'm giving these guys as much room as possible because I'm anticipating the LePage. Oh, but the car turns. Oh, we just ca basically carried 200 miles an hour through the first turn. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy Spencer. Is he going to win this race? Probably. Because I doubt I'm going to be able to pass him. Oh, no. Unless this car stays this good for the last little bit of this run. The tires last, I think, just a little bit longer on the second run than they do the first. So, yeah, that is uh, encouraging. All right, back to second. Up to second. All the crossovers incoming. Come on. Get in there. Jimmy Spencer's too good. I can't beat him. He lost that race at Darlington versus me, though. He wants revenge from, from Darlington for however many years ago that was. When am I going to hit the wall on the draft? Oh, I got some speed now, though. Oh, oh, contact. Oh, we're still side by side with them. 
into the turn. We got the lead from Spence. Spence can't handle the Alka. Oh, yes, he can. Look at that straight line speed, though. That is insanity. Are you kidding me? All right, and now the car is just pushing because I had the nerve to get into the draft before going into turn three. And now I have no draft. Never mind, I got draft. Yeah, I guess the draft is actually working as it, as it should right now. Well, then again, I am about to go 215 into this corner. I was going to say, maybe they got draft wrong at, like, the plate tracks. And, like, they just, like, the power of the draft is inverted. But no. As it turns out, we still got ridiculous speed from this far back in the draft. This may be the only way I could win this race. Ooh! Come on! No! I just could not beat Jimmy Spencer today. Hang on! Hang on! We gotta run! Oh, we gotta run! Get that draft! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! No! No, the straightaway wasn't long enough. Jimmy Spencer wins the Kmart 400. Of course. His sponsor. His car sponsor, of course. That makes that... Then it all makes sense now. No wonder he won. It was all rigged from the beginning. The game was rigged from the beginning. Alright, another 100 grand. But the best news of all is that we came out of Michigan with a top five. And we should be in great shape to be in the points lane. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Our season of three poles, five top tens, and an average finish of 4.4. Can you believe it's unmatched by anyone? Including Jimmy Spencer, who has points finishes of 15th, 15th, and 11th so far. Why is, why is Jimmy Spencer so good in these games? They made him a legend in this game. They made him really good in Thunder 2003. But then they didn't even bother putting him in Thunder 2004. I don't know if Sirius XM just didn't want any of that. It doesn't make any sense because fucking... No. Yeah, Casey Atwood was in Thunder 03, right? I don't know, man. I don't even know what race we're going to. I think it's Indianapolis, which is already a good track. Already a track that we have done mucho successios at. No, it's Pocono. Okay, never mind. Pocono is the... I forgot Pocono existed. This is a bad track. This is a very bad track for us, so let's hope that this is a good enough setup. Qualifying. Yeah, this is another track that I've never had any success at. I think I've quit out of all the Pocono races, too, which is probably why I forgot about its existence. That's probably the reason that I forgot that this race was even a thing. So here we go, into this turn, carrying way too much speed, and the car is just going slower than shit now. That's cool. Alright, well, well, if we get through this race, then we're going to be in really good shape. Because Indianapolis will be tough, but then we'll then we kind of get into the you know the good track swing with Watkins Glen, Richmond, Martinsville. They'll be coming. I forgot what my sponsor objectives are. You know, I just realized that. I just realized that I've completely forgotten, and I have no idea what Elka Seltzer actually is expecting me to do over the course of this contract. I have no idea. Anyway, twenty first. 17th. Thank God for this game. Really bringing me back down to reality. Just when I thought that I had this championship locked up, Pocono shows up and says, A hey, bitch, get in line. Well, this sure is a thing that's about to happen. Here we go. It is Pocono. A track that I don't like driving, nor do I like watching. This is one of the worst. And we're getting swarmed on every angle. And I'm going to lose like five or so spots before we even get into turn one. So that's just great. Oh my goodness. The car is bad. Okay. Well, we survived turn one, which is, you know, an accomplishment if I do say so myself. Now we got to survive the tunnel that I have no idea what speed I should be driving into. Well, it's like we're going to be in third gear at 85 miles an hour is where we're going to be on this occasion. Okay. 
That was super necessary. So we've already used a fast repair, which I think we have infinite of, but hey, you never know. And we're 28th, because nothing good can happen in this game. Just when you thought that you had it all figured out, something pops up and just says, no, fuck you, no. Boy, it sure is cool how we're literally 20 miles an hour slower than everyone else while running 27. That sure is necessary and cool. How we can't do fucking anything at all anywhere. Yep, there goes more people passing me. Yeah, we can't do fucking anything. This track is horrible. I especially love how the car turns into the grass and still pushes up the track. I think it's really cool how that works. Mmm, tire wear critical a lap before I can pit. How wonderful is that? As if this race couldn't get any better. Mmm, now the engine's on fire. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna hope that quitting the race mid-event and the uh, results shuffle gives us a good, you know, thing. Hopefully the field finishes in the inverse order of the standings coming into it. And we're fourth in points. How wonderful is that? How wonderful is that? After everything that we've done so far this season, one fucking bitch race has cost us the entire points lead. So Kurt Busch wins at Pocono, and we literally lost 160-ish points. So that's marvelous. All right, next shitbag race. Maybe this isn't going to be a shitbag. Maybe this is Watkins Glen and we can finally go back. No, it's Indianapolis. Dumb bitch. Dumb bitch. You thought that you were going to have an easy fucking race? No, it's Indianapolis, which we've done good at in the past, but, you know. Now the true nature of this game is uh, back in full force. So we'll have to see if I'm even halfway as fucking competent in this race. Coming to the line, this lap could have been better. It's still a pole. All right, that's good. That's good. Okay, good sign going into this one. Yeah, we just, uh, I say we just need to survive, but hey, that's what we've needed to do all year, and that's been a tall order, so, you know. Now we don't even need to just survive anymore. Now we have a fucking 80-point deficit to the lead, so, you know. Now we kind of need to be on the attack. Survival really doesn't mean much anymore. Oh, cool, I'm going to be taking three wide in the first corner. How cool is that? And necessary. All right, well, that was an all right taking of this first turn. That was a less all right taking of the second turn. And we're still dying. How cool is that? All right. As I said, we just need to survive. And we're still getting put in the wall. Hey, would you look at that? The leader's fucking gone. Why does this keep happening? Yeah, Ricky fucking Rudd, this is your fucking fault, fuckface. Yeah, but we don't have a straight line speed advantage over them. So, now that I'm this far back, that's gonna be pretty much impossible to catch these guys, because I don't have any drafting help. So that's wonderful. A race we really could have used a W in. And now we're probably going to lose points to Gordon. Thanks, Rod. That was incredibly necessary. You know what the balls to the wall strat would be for this race? Would be to pit right now. But I actually am closing out on, on them, so maybe we don't do that. Yeah, the problem is, is that they get to fucking draft with each other down the entire straightaway, whilst all I get is to close in slightly in the corners and then lose everything on this big ass fucking straightaway. Mm. Very cool how it decided it wasn't gonna turn that time. Would've been an excellent opportunity to make up some time on this in-lap here. But, as we all know, that's way too much to ask for. Don't speed. Okay, that was a decent, decent entry to pit lane. I still can lower that somewhat. Uh, don't take the repairs. There's no reason. I don't know why no one else pit this lap. That's a poor choice on their part. This really would have made pitting on the previous lap an excellent strategy. 15.26 is pretty, pretty halfway decent. 
Let's get back up onto the track. And we should be in good shape. Let's just hope that the car doesn't decide to fuck itself on one of these corners for no reason. Which it tends to like to do. Alright. So here we are. These guys were battling for the lead. They have the worst pit exit you could possibly imagine at this track. It's almost as... No, I mean, every track the pit exit for these guys is a joke. But this is one of the bigger jokes of the game. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's see if we can't uh, survive this corner. The problem is, is that I'm slowing down way too much going into the first turn. Because I could be basically flat foot this second one every time. Now I got a big gap to those guys back there. Coming up on this group. Where somehow the leader of the race stayed out in another lap. And of course it's Gordon. Why wouldn't it be Gordon? I might want to try and, like, yeah, get underneath him here. There we go. That was slick. That was a good move right there. All right. Okay. It's just basically a lap and a half blocking. And hoping I don't die from said blocks. Let's see what happens. Let's make it happen. Oh, my goodness gracious. It is not driving. I don't want to lose to Gordon. I hate Gordon so much. We can flat foot this pretty much. Yes, yes, yes. Coming to the line. We're going to get put in the wall so we have no pace. And everyone else is going to be able to catch up to us. So it's not going to be 1v1. It's going to be the entire fucking field v the entire fucking field. And Gordon just dumped me. What a fucking prick. Yeah, why do people like this guy again? Anyway... Good turn there. Get the draft. Get the draft. Get the draft. Any day of the week you're ready to draft. It's, it's not drafting. Wow, I just lost the draft in a straight line. That is absurd. I can't even close in on him. I can't even dump him, dude. I can't. What the fuck, dude? Okay, I'm closing in now, but I'm not going to have the straight line speed that I need. This is fucking offensive. Yeah, just like that, we're going to lose points to Gordon. Mm. That's annoying. That is incredibly annoying. Okay. Well, what's the points look like? I think if he was pretty far behind Earnhardt, too. Let's... I don't even know where Earnhardt finished. I'm third in points behind... Oh, cool. Yeah, I did lose points to Gordon. How wonderful is that? We've got, yeah, four poles. Four poles. Yeah. 9.6 average finish versus a fucking seven. The thing sucks, by the way. Fuck! 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 I just pushed Piglet into a power up! No! Go away! Go away! Ah! 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 This is rape! God damn it! This. This is rape! Ah! Where's my rape whistle?